Yo, we are the Crane Couple and we're in Shibuya, Japan. We are. With an interesting experience for all you guys. Taco Bell in Japan. In Japan. We actually, we, we had no idea this was a thing. I don't, no. I don't know if we just missed it back in 2019. But yeah, there's, there's Taco Bell. There is. And I, I'll say, I don't think either one of us are really huge Taco Bell fans stateside. It's fine for what it is. It's kind of like, hey, you need something fast? All right, let's go get Taco Bell. And it's pretty cheap, too. Yeah. Yeah. This is a little different, though. Yeah. So here's your Taco Bell in Japan food review. Let's go. We're starting off with Brittany's combo set. Yes. I think, I think it's called the Cheesy Core Burrito. I think so. <laughs> it kind of looks like... We we had a, there was a burrito stateside yeah. that had like little chips and stuff in there. I don't remember what the name was. If you guys remember, go ahead and comment below. But it looks similar, except I think there's more cheese. Yeah, so there's like a a layer of something, and then there's another tortilla or something on the inside with more in the inside. Yeah, it's kind of like double. Yeah, it's like a double walled. <laughs> We'll just have to like we'll break have into to see. it. Uh, but it's a combo. When you make it a combo, you get a drink. Yes. A nice this little is, Coke. Uh, this is the combo drink right here. <laughs> it's not the biggest cup, but that's pretty typical for Japan. Yeah. And nacho chips. Yeah. Which in, um, in the U.S., if you got a side, it's usually just like tortilla chips with like a side of nacho cheese. So that's what I thought we were getting. But no, they're like, they look like tortilla chips, but they're dusted in like... Taco seasoning? Yeah, I guess. Mm. They smell a little spicy? Yeah, kind of cheesy. I, I don't know. It looks, it looks neat. And you actually got the chews, so you could either have the chips yeah. or fries, which okay. the fries look kind of similar to what we had stateside, so why not something why a little different? Chips? Yeah. We'll do chips. And the price is about, since it's a combo, 970 yen. Yep, for the, the whole exact combo. exact conversion is probably around 750 or yeah, so yeah, at probably. the time of filming this, which is not too bad. It's maybe a little more expensive than American Taco Bell, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, when we would go to Taco Bell in the U.S., we would get, like, those combo boxes. And those can be a little cheaper. We're spoiled by the value. <laughs> they don't. Here. They don't have a combo box here. <laughs> no. So let's try it. Let's go. Start with the a chip. Nacho chip. Oh. Yeah, I think it's like taco seasoning. What an interesting concept. <laughs> That's what they call nacho chips. Not really like the uh, nacho cheese, let's say like Doritos or things stateside. No. Not really? No. And the chip is a little like, kind of drier. I don't know how to explain that. It's like they're it's like, like, are they like more baked? Maybe. They kind of have that look to them, right? They look yeah. a little thicker, a little bit, just a little thicker. But do you like it? That's the most important part. They're not bad. Not bad. If you get a chip that doesn't have a lot of seasoning on them, there's no seasoning to those chips. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> but if you get it with seasoning, it tastes like taco seasoning. But what we're here for, this guy. The cheesy core. Oh, it has chips in it. Whoa, that's actually really stuffed with chips. Yeah. Yeah, that... Well, the idea sounds close to the uh, the burrito we were thinking of in the United States, but this has a lot more chip in there. In fact, it almost, it almost seems like all chips in this. I will say, on the drier side, <laughs> I didn't get a lot of cheese or meat, nothing like really greasy. <laughs> Let me take it by the side. Mmm, that's better. Ah, that, that's what you need. You gotta get in that 
You gotta get into the actual beef and the rice and the cheese. Not a lot of cheese. It didn't really look very cheesy from here. I could use a, like some hot sauce or something. It's kind of mm. dry in there. Actually, it does come with sauce. Not hot sauce though. You get one mild sauce by default. So this is definitely a bigger packet. Like, like you can see my hand. <laughs> hand for scale. <laughs> this is like. <laughs> you get you get one packet for your like if you get a burrito or taco order. Yeah. Uh, your whole order, you get one packet. And so by default, it comes with mild. But if you want hot sauce, you have to ask for it when ordering. Yeah, when ordering, you have to ask for it. But it is interesting. Um, they they will just give you mild hot sauce. And it's one packet. I wonder if, you know, maybe hot sauce not as popular here in Japan. Yeah, I guess huh? so. Huh? Maybe. Hmm. I mean, I don't think, I don't really think about hot sauce here, you know? But, I mean, it's it's fine. Maybe they don't want to have to worry about packets going to waste, I will too. say, this is kind of a fancy packet, though. Like, first of all, like, this is huge. <clears throat> okay? Second of all, they have a cut right here if you want to open the entire thing oh. or if you want to uh, kind of aim properly when using the sauce they actually have a tear at the top that's like curved that's kind of cool yeah so, so you can it, have it it's both just, ways yeah so that way if you want to just take it all and dump it everywhere you can open it or if you want to be a little more controlled with it they have like a smaller cut that's cool Multifunctional sauce packet. Also, you're my forever. Joke's on you, Brittany. You're mine forever. <gasps> wow. <laughs> also, if you did need more sauce packets, you can order them, but they cost extra. Oh, that's how they get you. <laughs> but see, that's what I mean. It's like we ordered, we ordered our whole thing together. Yeah. But that's still one order, which means you get one packet. Yeah, huh? Yeah, no, I saw... They got it. They got it set up. So they put the receipt by the counter where you pick it up. They give you the little like um, little towelettes. Yeah. And they put one sauce packet next to your receipt, so like this. Here's your life pro hacks, <laughs> not tips, hacks. Have each person order separately. Absolutely. <laughs> you can save twenty yen. Okay. I think it was twenty yen. Don't quote me on that. I'm definitely not going to include the little photo where it shows it to like 30 or 40 in a packet. But yeah, I mean, did you like the burrito at least? Yeah. Do you want to try it with some sauce? Yeah, I could try it with some sauce. Ooh. I'm going to use the fancy end. Mm. There. So that way. Oh, geez. Nice, controlled drip. How mild is the mild? Oh, I got some more cheese now. Mm, that helps, actually. Especially that first bite looked like it was pretty dry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Does it taste like the mild sauce stateside? Um, I don't know what the mild sauce stateside tastes like. I'm asking the wrong person. Brittany doesn't actually use the hot sauces no. as a taco. No, that bell. helps it not be so dry. That's good, though. And I Not feel bad, like... though. You know, if you're really craving Taco Bell in Japan, I think it's a solid option. It's my turn. I have something a little different on the menu. Not a taco. Not a burrito. Not even a Crunchwrap Supreme. It's loaded fries. Oh, yeah. It's pretty serious. And the price tag to boot so, for reference, Brittany's cheesy core burrito, on its own without the combo, it would be around 650 yen, I think. I want to say it's around 650, 670 yen. My fries are almost 900 yen. No combo. No combo. <laughs> Just a lot of fries. A big old pile of seasoned fries, ground beef, cheese, sour cream. But it sounded good. I mean, the seasoned fries look really good. Yeah, they got a lot of seasoning. I think I know where your uh, your chip seasoning went. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna have a fry first because we get fries like this at Taco Bell in the United States, right? Okay. The fry itself tastes pretty similar. Okay. Not as much seasoning. Uh, Not as strong of seasoning. I can see some of those fries, like that one in particular. Well, here's a the thing. A little less seasoning. The uh, the fry I did grab looked like it had a lot of seasoning. So if you're expecting that oh. bold kick from U.S. Taco Bell, it might not be there, but let's try it with everything on there. Everything. The cheese, the meat, the cream. Give me. Give me like a big old bite. There you go. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh. Right. The fries on their own, they're fries. They're not bad. They're not great. With everything else on there, sorry, Brittany. I'm sure your burrito is great. I love stuff like carne asada fries. So this is essentially the Taco Bell equivalent. In Japan. <laughs> In Japan. In Tokyo, Japan. Mm. That's kind of cool. I like it. I guess my only thing would be that it's on the pricier side, but it is a pretty hearty portion. I think between the two of us, we can share it pretty good. It is a lot of fries. It's been a long, long, busy streaming and filming day, so I'm sure we could finish it off between the two of us. Oh, totally. But I think the flavor is good. Yeah, I, I mean, I think since I normally have, well, I don't normally get the mild. They get like hot sauce, the fire sauce. I'm going to try some. Oh man, watch it kind of, yep, yep, there it goes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's fast. Yeah. Blink and you'll miss it. Oh, I lost one of my fries. <laughs> There's definitely mild sauce. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Is it the same kind of mild sauce? Do you know? I think it tastes close enough that I don't I don't really see any difference. Right. I don't normally get the mild, so I couldn't say for sure. Yeah. But it's fine. All right. It's a little bit of taco sauce, you know? Again, like, sometimes the stuff here can be a little dry, so you don't want to end up kind of... Yeah. You know, when you're trying to eat. <laughs> I can definitely recommend these. I actually like this a lot. It, I think you'll I, like it, too. I will say that looks good. Mm-hmm. Okay. It does look really good. Time to enjoy. <laughs> to finish off our meal here at Taco Bell in Japan, yep. we've got dessert. We do. But usually there's like things like cinnamon twists and all that. Mm -hmm. Well, here they have something called the Chocodilla. Yes. Chocolate quesadilla. It sounds, it sounded too ridiculous to not get. I mean, it smells like <laughs> chocolate. I hope it's good. Uh, I think it was around like 270 yen. It sounds very unique. It is literally a tortilla. It's literally a tortilla with chocolate in it. <laughs> do, we, do we call it like a Mexican crepe or something? I mean, it smells good. Mm. You know, I can't say I've had too many. I've never thought to put chocolate in a tortilla. <laughs> yeah, I've not had Even many Taco chocolate Even Taco Bell in the U.S. doesn't have this. I don't think so, right? No, they don't. Well, let's try it. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty good. Yeah? It tastes no. like chocolate frosting. Normally you don't like the chocolate in Japan too much. No, it's not it's, sweet enough for you. No, this is very sweet. Really? It literally tastes like, tastes like frosting that you would put on a cake. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't look like much. This way. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> it looks very different. But you know, all that matters is that it tastes good. Actually, this is a great dessert. <laughs> U.S. Taco Bell needs to get on this. Maybe, maybe it'll be a new thing. Look at folks Bell. in America. 
Chuck Adele is coming for you. I'm down. Well, having finished both our entree and dessert, what's your final thoughts on Taco Bell in Japan, Brittany? I think it's not bad. No? No. I think it, especially if you're coming to Japan, you're like, man, you're really craving some Taco Bell? It's not bad. It's close enough, I think. I think it's close enough that, like, you would be satisfied afterwards. Yeah, I think so, too. I think if I had any grievance with Taco Bell here, it's, that it's a little expensive. Yeah. Compared to the other fast food shops, it definitely costs a little more for us to eat here. Uh, yeah, it definitely costs more. Mm -hmm. But if that's what you're craving, there's not a whole lot of choices around the Tokyo area. No. Yeah. But more importantly, what do you guys think? Would you get Taco Bell in Japan? How do you feel about Chocodillas? Get it. Get a couple <laughs> of them. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching, guys. We are the Crane Couple. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell. I can't believe we reviewed Taco Bell in Japan. Look, we so, do it so you don't have to. Someone's gotta. Somebody's gotta. <laughs> Take care, guys. See you next time. Bye.